Okay, so hello guys and welcome to the show. This is the second episode brought to you by the host Stefan and my awesome cameraman Marshall Tucker. So basically we have another noisy canister and as you can see it's pumping a little bit of dirt in the tank in Mega Monster. So if my cameraman takes you over there, it's making the tank a bit dirty. And of course here on my left hand side we have this canister which is also starting to pump a little bit of dirt into the tank and it's also making a, a terrible noise. So we're gonna service them today and show you how. Okay guys, so I'm gonna get you guys in here underneath the tanks and then I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do. So we're gonna get the power source out of the, of the plugs, obviously. I'm gonna deep plug them. Luckily the noise is gone. Yo, it was making my crazy. We're going to close the taps here, if you come on down here. You see there's a tap there and a tap there. And you're also going to close the taps here. You can come over here to see clearly. So this is the input and this is the output. I just closed the taps off there. Okay, so firstly, you need to get a hose pipe if you're doing this outside. I'm choosing my outside environment to do this whole thing in. We've got our working table here. So we need water. So let's try it. And we got water. As you can see. So you want to fill the bucket up to at least halfway. This is a five gallon bucket. So you, want you want to disconnect it by flipping up this clips. Okay, and you want to let all of the water uh, go out of the head. And then you'll see as you come closer, there's a lot of dirt inside of this canister filters. It's got some solid filtration media inside here. So there's a lot of algae, fish poop, lacquer, 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 fail water. Ooh, lacquer. Okay, so firstly, I'm gonna take all of this bucket I'm going to dip it straight into the clear water and then we're going to rinse it a few times and then the only thing you want to do is you want to take off the top piece of filtration sponge so you take the filter pads and you rinse it out in this water and as you can see the water is already like ground dirty the first, first time I rinsed it so then basically you do this you rinse out the media once again so it's clear again you can see the white parts again you don't rinse the bottom part of the filter pad you don't do rinse that and then you, you simply put it back and then it's ready to go back into the canister Cut. I'm quickly gonna do this you'll see me on a time lapse on your screen please use this time to subscribe and like and comment and then I'll see you guys if we're done Just to get rid of that final fish dead and fish fruit. And also the algae that bubbles up on it. So now we're stacking it like this. You can come from this side. Then you'll see we're stacking it like this. Because if they fit into each other perfectly, there's no seams for air to come out and there's no leaks. That is the first step, but we'll tell you all about that in our next video, how to fix a leaking canister. So now we're just stacking them on top of each other, like I showed you on the table. Almost make sure there's no seams. Even if you have to do this like 20 times over, it's definitely the most important part that everybody skips when they have a canister but you want them to line up perfect and that's also going to make it work better because that's how it's meant to be okay so as you can see there's no seams there so job well done okay so now we're just going to fix this impeller if you come closer and look inside here you will see the washer fell out at the back of the impeller stick there's the washer always keep a handy tweezer uh, this is a Aqua escaping tweezer that I use for everything except for in the bathroom. So basically, 
you just fix it on there, put your impeller on, and then as you can see, the washer is missing at the front. So I'll make a quick fix using insulation tape. It's the best thing in the world you could ever use. So basically what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna wrap it around that. You might want to take the back washer out and then pull it off. Just don't lose it. So basically, you just want to wrap it around nicely. It's a bit wet now. Okay, so this is the final product, so that's it, and then all you do is you use a Stanley knife, you got to clear the insulation tap up top, and we're just going to pull this off simply, it's very easy actually, okay, so there's that, then we might cut at the back here, I've done this a few times, that's why, very easily. Just want to turn it. Then you just simply peel it off there. And voila! If you really want to make it perfect, you can cut it precise but it's just doing a purpose, it's not going to be in the eye doing something very important cool, that's it there's the washer and now we're going to fix it inside here it's going to go, in, going to go back in there we're going to use this, make sure it's clean just want to wipe off all the oggy or as the people say, OG I think it's a bit cheap. I guess I think so then you just fix it in there. Make sure it's not too tight, it can still turn. I assume I use the tweezer for this sometimes. Yeah, it can still turn perfect. Okay, cool. Okay, hey guys, now we're gonna try and clean this propeller. Uh, this is the bigger one, so it's a bit deeper. So if you're struggling with the finger, you need tweezers. Dunk! I guess I use the tweezers like I told you you use the tweezers for every single little thing okay voila so basically as you can see there's a lot of debris that grew on here you can see it's like a fail so you want to wash all of this off you just rinse it simply and uh, use your fingers to brush off all the algae the debris fish poop whatever you want to um, fish food whatever you need to get all of that off you can just simply splash it a bit it also cleans it you can see now it's nice and silver so you put this back yeah, if you really want to you can use a toothbrush to clean inside here and here but as i said i cleaned the canisters like three months ago so it's still nice and clean up top here and then because remember without these things they never run silence okay Cool, fix front back inside. Want to clean this debris off? Fix that into place. And I got a very important question. The question is how do you put it on the filter head? So if you put it on like this, it's the right way. How do you know that? Because as you see, there's a wall there. So this pipe needs to go into that wall, the impeller needs to be open but still submerged into water. So it's simply this way, so if you turn it like this, it's not going to work. So you turn it like that, you see it slip into the hole, and you simply flip the flaps down, and that's it. Voila! Yeah, dirty, Look dirty, dirty water. Okay, so now I'm just going to connect the pipes here. 
you always want to make sure if you have a leakage on your tap, uh, insulation tape around it is the best but I'll still show you in the next video so stay tuned for that and then also threading tape you want to add threading tape onto your tap um, it makes for a tighter seal so then you're not going to get leaks on your taps so that's also going to be in the fixing a leaking canister video that's coming very soon so if you're interested in that please leave a comment down below um, my email address Facebook account whatever is going to be there so if you're excited go check that out um, so yeah, and now I'm just going to finish connecting the taps, almost done here. You want to make sure you do this slowly because it's very easy to break off a tap and then you have a big problem, like an, a big problem. Because you can't necessarily replace the tap on the canister filter but you can on the pipe so it might cost you another few thousand rand. Okay, so I'm going to open the tap. It's gonna, you can see the air coming out there as it's being primed and it's siphoning in water from the intake. So, as you can hear, it's all done now. Now we're gonna plug and play and test this bad boy out because we just cleaned it, it's very clean. Let's start. It's just the air coming out and some of the dirt in the pipe. We're going to give that one a moment to run as we start filling up this bad boy at the point. So if you please come closer, you see what I'm busy doing. And then I can show you the exact process of how to prime a canister. That's also going to be explained in a longer video. This is just for me to quickly show you what I'm doing and so you understand what I'm busy doing. So, I screw on the taps. This is actually a very nice system because it's all elongated to the tank. So, what I'm going to do, you open the intake, open the output. There's air coming out there inside the tank. And then, basically, you wait for it to fill up and then plug and play. As you can hear that canister is silent, I can't even hear it. So our insulation tape pack worked like a bomb. Now we're going to fill up this bad boy, put it on, it's running, the air going out of the canister, just the process you need to remember. As you can see all of the air is going out there at the back. So we, we get this in a moment when it's quiet. Uh, this was a leaking canister, so the prime button is silicone, so I can't prime it at all. So I just need the process to... I'm very happy with that fix, we fixed it like a bomb. It's, it's flawless now, you can't even hear it. Me even sitting here in person can't hear it. It's running very silent, you can only feel it by vibrating. As you can hear, it's already silent. Last bit of air going out. So I would succeed. This mission has completed. Thank you for watching, guys. I want to thank you once again. Uh, if you like what you're seeing, please subscribe. Please support us. We really have a dream to reach, and I believe you guys can help us. Thank you for watching. Appreciate it. Leave your thoughts down below. See you in the next one. Bye.